Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Toronto of ChasingCinema.com. Thank you for tuning into this daily update where I'm going to be talking about the second trailer of Jurassic World, which dropped earlier today. Now, 1993, Steven Spielberg made one of the biggest impacts in cinematic history with his film Jurassic Park. Um, a personal favorite of mine as a child. I, I actually think it's, I mean, a personal favorite to this day. Uh, I think it is one of the most iconic movies that we've seen um, from Steven Spielberg and just in general in motion picture cinema. However, when there was talks, I mean, they've been talking about making another Jurassic Park for such a long time. I personally was not too crazy about the second and third one. Part being, I've not watched them in such a long time. I remember a little bit of The Lost World, uh, but I remember nothing of three, but I remember really not liking it. I, I think most of the fan base is on par with me. But I remember when I was... Um, a junior in high school, and maybe even a little bit before that, uh, which was going on five, six years ago, and we were talking, I had, I was head of the cinema club, obviously, and was talking about um, Jurassic 4 being in the process of being made, and uh, most recently, though, we've kind of opened our eyes and seen exactly what Jurassic World is all about. Um, as it says, 65 million and 22 years in the making. Um, when I heard Chris Pratt was going to be signed for this film, I was pretty excited. I think Chris Pratt is doing very well for himself. I think he's making a name in motion picture and being a big movie star, if you will. Uh, especially with the help of Guardians of the Galaxy, which really put him in the front star. Um, I'm sorry, the, the movie star front seat. And, and people have really kind of grown to like and relate to Chris Pratt. Um, I was kind of disappointed that Steven Spielberg wasn't going to be directing, but... Uh, Obviously, they have a director who they feel will be able to do really well. Now, now he's probably not the most um, well-known director, but he did do a movie in 2012 called Safety Not Guaranteed, and I'm talking about director Colin Trevorrow, um, who I've seen Safety Not Guaranteed. The film does have promise. I think that, you know, from what I've seen so far, the movie looks very... Um, well directed but then again I'm only seeing trailers so it's really hard to kind of tell but from what I see visually I like it um when the teaser dropped for Jurassic World all I could say was yikes yeah I, I wasn't too crazy about the trailer I didn't I don't know if I'm really crazy about the whole hybrid dinosaur thing in general I'm not sure if that's where I would think this movie should go but it wasn't that that made me not like the trailer. It was just some of the dialogue. Um, I don't I don't think it's in the trailer that dropped today, but um, I believe in the teaser he goes, whatever they cooked up in that dino lab. And to me, that, that dialogue's laughable. It's something I can't take serious. I can't believe him. He delivers it with such, um, you know, seriousness and determination. I just couldn't buy into it. However, this trailer does make the movie a little bit more interesting, though I will say there is still some dialogue in here that I just don't think fits. I mean, I don't... I can't put the blame on Chris Pratt. I just, I honestly think it goes back to the writers and what they're given. Um, I think Chris Pratt does seem interesting. The very opening shot of this trailer is him trying to calm down three raptors. And that scene's intense. You could kind of see that fear in his eyes. Um, and I buy all that. But then it's when he starts talking, especially with, um, uh, especially with his, his female lead, which you could be find in some of the posters that they recently released, where she's just kind of staring at the window, um, Bryce Dallas uh, Howard. Um, and uh, I just... I, there's just something about it that makes me go, I think it's going to go more on a little bit of the cheesy side. And uh, But then I see some of the action clips, and then I see this clips of the dinosaurs, and the fact that there's even amazing POV shot in there that we haven't probably seen in a long time where a character's being dragged and we're following that character. I really dug that because it's something that we've seen a lot over the years in cinema, but not as of late. So it kind of feels fresh again. It kind of gained that um, excitement back to it. Overall, I would say this trailer is more of a... An intriguing trailer, an entertaining trailer. Uh, obviously, the star of this trailer is not Chris Pratt. It is not any of his um, his uh, co-stars, but it is the giant, monstrous, um, Indominus Rex, I believe it's called. Let me double check here. The hybrid Indominus Rex. So, obviously, seeing him, um, this man-made 
monster is is vicious and scary and seeing him kind of dominate and i love that there's kind of this birds aspect where you know we have dinosaurs uh I'm not sure of their name. I'm sorry. My lack of dinosaur knowledge is just picking people out of the out of the park from the sky. We have that classic um, nostalgic element where we have our two these two young kids in this um, futuristic um, transportation ball thing, and the the windows being smashed in, and we have that flashback to 1993 Jurassic Park. Overall, though, I think it was an interesting trailer. Though I am quite nervous of some of the writing, it's making me a little bit more. Uh, hesitant in going into this picture but overall i would say it's a good trailer you can watch it on chasingcinema.com to see what i'm talking about uh make sure if you want to find me on social media go down below look at the description all my social media channels are there mine and chasing cinemas uh ladies and gentlemen my name is jacob toronto and thank you for chasing cinema